Palantir people. All righty. So we have some news. We have some news. June 28th. Okay. So we have some news. Can you believe it? I guess you can. I think you can see the headlines. Two of the co-founders, okay? They're saying they'd rather have him than Biden. Who are they talking about? They're talking about him. Yes. 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 Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about two of the people, okay? Founders, co-founders of Palantir are fully coming out saying that they're supporting Trump and the presidential election coming up 2024. You know it's coming soon. They're into it. They're into it. So Peter Thiel, we're going to look at it. Let's see what he's saying. He's supporting him. This guy right here. He supported him in the past, for everybody who doesn't know. He, he supported him in the past. But they kind of... Guys, he supported him in the past. Okay, He gave a lot of money. And then things didn't work out. Kind of how Peter thought it was gonna go, all right? So they're not they're not this tight like they used to be. They're not. So don't think, oh, oh yeah, they, no, 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 no. And it's a reason why Silicon Valley is going behind Trump. I'm not one way or the other with all this. I'm here for the money. That's it. A lot of people just here for the money. They're not, you know, Democrat, Republican, whatever. Make money either way. That's all. Hey, Miss Moneymaker, anything that moves. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's look at this article, see what they're saying. What does Peter Thiel say? Alrighty, so we see here two out of five. <laughs> two out of five is almost a majority of it. So two out of five are already showing public support for Trump this week. All right, so Thiel is voting for Trump, but he's not putting all that money behind him. You see that right there, right? He's not putting millions of dollars behind him like he did last time. Well, yeah, because doesn't Trump have a little bit of um, a conviction going on? You know, just like a little bit, a little bit something going on there. So I don't know. So let's see here. Okay, you can look at the screen. I'm looking, at, I print this out on paper. Okay, so now we're saying that there's a growing number of Silicon Valley and tech sectors backing him now over Joe. Okay, 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 right. whatever. All right, so now we got it here. The co-founders pledge their, their support. All righty. So now Peter said right here, if you hold a gun to my head, or we, so what is it like? If we don't hold a gun, if we don't hold, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. So Peter, if we don't hold a gun, you're not voting. But if we hold a gun to your head, you're going for Trump. But no, no gun, no voting. No gunny, no voting. Okay, whatever. Okay, you, you get my point. This is all contingent on like if, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, right? Okay, so here we go. So let's see here. Okay, so if you hold the gun, okay, you know, I'm gonna support Trump, uh, but I, I'd rather have him than Biden. Okay, all right, whoever, however, we wanna, however we wanna make this work and everything. Alrighty, so here we go. Now, Teal in the past, he was a firm supporter. I told you that, he was before. Mm -mm. But after January 6th, People, after January 6th, everybody in the United States, probably around the world, because I, I noticed some people here from Germany, Japan, Singapore, shout out to all you people all over the place watching. January 6th, okay, not this one, but the one before, it was a hot mess at the White House. There was a whole insurrection, and there were people climbing up the White House, okay, you know, to like, I, I guess, to do what? Really? Like, what were you going to do? If you really understand the military power behind the United States, like the military could, SWAT team could have came out and went and just took everybody down if they wanted to. Okay, if they wanted to, they chose not to. So anyway, that uh, whole scene did not go the way Peter, uh, you know, would have liked it to go. It was, it was a little more crazier than Mr. Man thought. That's something you have to realize when. Be able to make money regardless who's in the White House. That's what I'm saying to you people. Because you put Trump in, you know, which, hey, be ready for all this collateral craziness that happens. It's so much drama. So it's like, on one hand, you can make money, but then on the other hand, it was so much 
drama going on. It's like, it's hard for me to even like, oh my God. I'm trying to make money here, but we got people climbing on the White House. We have everybody marching for Black Lives Matter. That's another thing. So it was like every couple of months, it was some big social thing going. It keeps people very distracted. So that's good for people who, you know, get distracted. Like, okay, you can't even hold a thought. So much chaos and craziness. But if you're just trying to make money, and this is what my audience is supposed to be here for. We're supposed to be making money, people. Make money. You know, come on. All that drama is hard to stay focused. You better stay focused. Don't get lost during this election time. Stay focused on your stocks. So anyway, uh, Teal donated one million, okay, to Trump in the past, 2016. He ain't doing that again. He's like, been there, done that, not doing that again. All right, so let's see here. Let's keep moving on. He, he said he won't do that. So now he's saying what he thinks. Okay, fine, whatever. I think sometimes the more someone repeats something, people start to believe it, even if it's not true. If you tell your kids there's Santa Claus a whole lot of times, your kids will believe in Santa Claus blindly. And Santa Claus is real, Santa Claus is just this and that. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. Hmm, okay, but whatever. My point is make money regardless who's in office. That's what I'm saying. All right, so now. Because, you know, the reason why I'm saying it like this, because Teal said he can't make a pro-Trump argument. Oh, Jesus, man. But, but, all right. Okay, but he, but he, but he can come up with anti-Biden arguments. Okay, so that's all we need nowadays. Look, look, nowadays, the United States doesn't need much. We don't need much. Like, okay. What are you saying to me? What are you promising me? You look good. Okay, I'm voting for you. It like, I know, we've been through a lot. And then there's a lot of division and everything going on. But I think a lot of people, when we're looking at Mr. Man here, when we're looking at Big Daddy, we're looking at, we're thinking this. We're thinking some dollar signs, okay? That's what we're thinking about. And some other, you know, conservative views. I don't think Mr. Man is conservative. I don't, I don't feel like that, you know? But I think that... You know, he has power. People are scared of him around the world. You know, those countries that need to be scared sometime or whatever. Some, but I mean, I'm not hating on them either right now. But the point is, Teal is thinking this. Yes. And Palantir, that's what we're here for, is thinking that too. Yes. Put in the comment below if you think Palantir is going to make more money with a Trump presidency. Because what is this about? You know, contracts. Come on, people. It's about the contracts. It's about the contracts. Teal, do we can't, do you think Teal cares about Trump? Come on. It's about the government contracts. All right, so let's get into it. This part right here. This part. Okay. Let's, hold on. I didn't make that circle good. Hold on. Let me just scroll this up to the top. And we do it again. Okay, we're going to do it government contracts right there okay we'll read it together teal is the co-founder of palantir paypal founders fund teal is a member of the board of directors of palantir okay okay which could make his support a spotlight on the company he co-founded all right so this is why he's talking about it ahead of time so to give palantir some buzz okay palantir regularly wins regularly they win the government contracts. And a win by Trump could be beneficial to Palantir if Teal and Trump repair their ties. Okay? Now, the Trump administration ended up being a little crazier and more dangerous than expected. And that's what Teal said. You know, there are a lot of things I got wrong. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, you know, it was a little... That, that was a little extra, okay, people? That was extra. We don't need to do all that this time. Let's, we just need to make some money. That's all. We just need to make some money. We don't, we don't have to climb the White House building. Take a break. Take a break. Okay, I mean, unless you want to. Not stop anybody. It's America freedom to climb the building, right? So if Trump gets back in, now you know one hand shakes the other. So will Trump give more more contracts to Palantir because you know contracts with the army all this I don't know do y'all know about the dark side to Palantir the drone strikes 
the drone strikes on things you shouldn't strike on, like uh, neutral humanitarian aid, but like things landing right there. Like say, give an example. Let's say you're not supposed to bomb a hospital, okay? And um, you know, behind enemy lines. What, how did the missile end up straight on the hospital people? Three times, okay? Stuff like that, I'm not saying that happened, but I'm just saying. So there's good and bad with all these things. We have to acknowledge that, right? We have to stay objective. We're supposed to know, look left, look right, look back left. You know, don't let's put our head in the sand, act like everything's all peachy keen. We do get our hands dirty. If, you, if you're trying to invest in a like socially clean kind of stock, mm, there's a whole nother side to this Palantir stuff. That's what's been, you know, happening here. So something to know. But will we make more money with Palantir with Trump? Okay, now something to show you. Look at this. This is the stock market right now. All right. Now, clearly it looks like it's up, <laughs> okay? It's clearly up. This is the spy, look right here, left corner, okay? This is the daily time frame. We're up, yes, we're definitely up. And then look here, here's some numbers, five year, you know, all this, year to date, you can look at those, all those things, okay? That's the spy, showing you what has been going on for a minute here. It's been going on for a minute. We had a dip down, we had a dip down here. Stock market is always gonna dip and we're back up. All right, so there we go. Here, 2020, this is the pandemic time, okay. Regardless, so my point, what's my point, Miss Moneymaker? Anything that moves, click like, subscribe. My point is the stock market in general, overall, goes up regardless. In general, overall, there's gonna be a 7% increase, no matter who's the president. And I know like when we had uh, Trump as a president and everything's like, oh my God, look what Trump's doing, how's it happening? Oh my God, wow. And so then when we switched and we, we, we had Biden come in and then like, oh, the market falling, what's happening? Oh, Trump made it, you know, rain money, oh my God. But look, later, that train, choo-choo train started, economy came up. I just showed you the spy, it came up. So it was up with Trump, it was up with Biden now. I don't care who you vote for. Vote for a cow for all I care. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, okay? It's just that we have to make sure we make some doggone money, okay? That's what we wanna do. Point, make money with this one, that one, set up your portfolio so it's Republican proof, Democrat proof, proof, proof. Just make your money, all right? But I want to make you let you know that this is coming, okay? Click like, click subscribe, put it in the comments who you're voting for. You know, I don't care. I'm here for the money, people. So are you. That's why you're here. Don't hate. Appreciate. Bye for now.